AI is changing our digital world, but something that's always been on the cutting edge of technology is weather forecasting. Now the two are coming together. WWL Louisiana meteorologist Alexa Trischler takes a look at what could be the future. Extra 12 or 24 hours warning that a cyclone is going to hit that can matter you know, hugely. Dr. Elon Price is a senior research scientist at Google DeepMind, a part of Google that is focused on a bunch of research like taking weather forecasting to the next level, all with the help of artificial intelligence. We're talking about doing in about eight minutes on a computer chip a little bit bigger than a laptop, what would take traditional methods um, up to hours on a supercomputer that has, you know, tens or hundreds of thousands of processes. He's talking about GenCast, a new AI probabilistic weather model created by Dr. Price and his team at Google DeepMind. It's the first high resolution machine learning ensemble model to come out that is faster and more accurate than the top model in the world called the European Ensemble Model. AI weather models are different than the traditional models meteorologists have been using for years because AI does not use physics equations. Instead, AI weather models learn from historical weather data. And it can learn richer and more complex uh, and more realistic dynamics than what is described by the equations that traditional models solve. GenCast is better at predicting day-to-day -day and extreme weather and tropical cyclone tracks. Since it's an ensemble model, it gives meteorologists a range of weather forecast scenarios and how likely they'll play out. This means better forecasts for a landfalling hurricane or just a sunny day at the park. So does this mean us meteorologists are out of a job? WWL Louisiana Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin doesn't think so. I don't think there's ever not going to be the need for a human meteorologist. Probably back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, as computer models started to get better and better and more advanced, there might have been a concern that human meteorologists would no longer be needed, and they're still very much needed, and we haven't really seen a decrease or a decline in the need. So I think AI, kind of like the improvement of computer models, are more of just another tool to allow us to better forecast. This is something both the chief and Dr. Price both agree on. This doesn't replace all physics-based models and meteorology and meteorologists but it is hopefully a much better tool in the toolbox going forward. Dr. Price says they're working on improving how their AI model predicts tropical cyclone intensity going forward since it's still not up to par yet. He says GenCast is free and open for the world to use right now so we can all better prepare for all kinds of weather in the future. And for a more in-depth look at AI weather models and how AI is shaping the future, head on over to our website, wwltv.com.